Okay. I'm on the final push to the top of Muir Pass. And before I get to the top, I just caught a glimpse of the roof of what I believe is the Muir Shelter. So, let's, let's march up there and see what it is, shall we? <clears throat> nice of these people who were probably about 30 or 40 minutes ahead of me to create some fresh steps in the snow. Makes it a little easier climbing up here. These passes are absolutely exhausting. It's the altitude, it's nature's stairmaster, it's the mental aspect of it. And it's just a pass, it's not even a summit, but it sure feels like one. Wow, look at that. That is way cooler than anything I had envisioned in my mind. I thought it was just going to be just basically a small little stone box. That is cool. Wow. I wonder when it was built. It's incredible that somebody came all the way up here and built something like that. The amount of work it must have taken just boggles my mind. Just because of the amount of work that it takes just to get up here. It's no easy task, especially in the springtime when there's snow. Snow makes everything so much harder. <sighs> okay, closing in on it. <laughs> of course, this is what we're starting to deal with now is, like I say, the most demoralizing thing in the world. Post holing, actually, it's the second most demoralizing thing. Double post holing is the worst. Wow, look at this thing. Okay. Well, we've made it here. 12,000 feet it never revealed itself until the very end. Last 100 feet or so. Let's have a look at this thing. Oh. Oh. Whew. Okay. Shall I ring the ring the doorbell? Oh, there is a door. Hello. Hey, it's open. You know what? I am going to um, grab my headlamp and then come back in and we'll investigate this. Be right back. 